everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch uh, black canvas that I'm going to go old school style. I'm just going to do a flip cup on it. Plain old flip cup and I'm not even going to put down a base coat today. And uh, the, I'm really doing this uh, video for everyone that's just starting out doing the acrylic pouring. This is one of the first things that I did. The only thing is about a flip cup is you're really at the mercy of the paint. So it's kind of important how you layer your paint in your cup to avoid trying to, you know, not get that muddy look. So let's go over my paints today. Just basic paints, uh, Blick Relic Primary Yellow. I'm using the Blick Relic Turquoise. I'm using Chromacryl Cobalt Blue, and this is the end of it for me on this one. I'm using DecoArt Metallic Festive Red. Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And I am using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I think that's it, yep. That's all my paints. So my pouring medium today is my normal, but just with a little twist. So it's two parts Floetrol to one part paint, squirt of GAC 800. I did add a teaspoon of Liquitex gloss medium, but I also added about a, about a half a teaspoon of Elmer's glue all. So just a little bit different today. And let me show you consistency here. I did have to thin it down with water because I did want it a little bit thinner for this type of pour. You can see it does leave a little trace, but then disappears right away. So let's get started layering the cups. Again, I don't have a base coat down. If I have negative space today, that's fine. That's fine with me. I think I'll layer them down the, the sides today. And I'll mix it up. Won't make the two, the two cups exactly the same. I did not add any silicone today. So I'm not really looking for any cells. So I am taking a chance putting the purple with the yellow there, but just gonna give it a try. see here. I get going so fast I forget what I'd put in there. And I hope you're all doing good today. If you're in the States, I hope that your states are starting to open up a little bit. I 
and start to get out there and, and enjoy some more social things if possible. about all my paints now. Just a little bit of yellow here. And a little bit of this blue left. going to clean this up and get it out of my way here. And I'm just going to flip them in the middle and then I'm going to be tipping them back and forth. There's one, two. Well, that looks very pretty. It would be nice if the whole painting's like that. And I do see a, some, a few cells coming up there, which is interesting. Okay, I'm just going to let the paint out slowly. I'm not going to put any on the corners, because like I said, if I end up with negative space that's okay but I do have quite a bit of paint here so I probably won't okay, the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to just lip it it's one of the things that you can do to just add a little bit of something for the eye to look at, you can lip it before you start, Oop. before you start on uh, tipping it. And I'm going to torch it too. The paint is quite thick, so there's going to have to be some that's run off. Looks like this cup on this side has a lot more of the lighter colors, the yellow and the white, where this got more of the darker colors. Okay, let's um, just start tipping here. Again, like I said, you're kind of at the mercy of the paint with your flip cups. And I'm going to want to take that off down there because it, it looked a little bit muddy to me. Like a, that green was pretty muddy looking. I really do have a couple of very big cells here and some lacing and some cloudy effect. And now I'm starting to wonder if that's just from adding that little bit of Elmer's glue to my pouring medium recipe. At this point, I'm really not sure.
think I'm going to take some off down here, down at this corner. Still a lot of paint on there. Okay. Just bringing these stripes more down into the middle here and then I'll take a look at it. And I think composition wise, this would be the top but I'm not sure at this point, but I thought I'd let you see it that way. This painting has a lot going on. Very happy with it. And I think I'll torch it again and we'll see what happens. I am bringing up little cells here, and that could be from the Floetrol. Okay, just going to take a look at it here a minute, and I'm going to clean the bottom off. spots I'm really not real real happy with and that's right in here and and right in here whoops and my pan just went in it so we're gonna do a little tip there now just run it off a little bit I didn't I don't really like that green but I'm going to try and save these red cells here because I really like those so let's just see if I can get it to go over and then bring it back. And bring it down again. Oh, and a lot more red cells came up, I see. You can see them in this area. That's different. I'm going to run off a little bit of that purple down there too, I think. Maybe a little more. Okay. And then I'll bring that back. Now I'm going to take another look here. Very interesting what's all going on here. And I'm going to torch one more time here. So it seems like every time I torch, different things happen. Okay. I 
think I'm going to leave it. I was going to do a little bit more tipping, but I think I will leave it. Pretty happy with it. And I will get you down for a close up. Okay, here we have the upper left hand corner. Some interesting cells there. And I do like this yellow streak here with the red around it and the brightness of that yellow and the red together is beautiful and i will take you this is the lower lower left hand corner and this is the area i want to take you up this is beautiful in here all these different colors the vibrancy of the red with that yellow that's where the eye goes and these are very interesting cells here and these cells in this area look like glue cells because they're more round. They're, it's not like a, a lacing like you get with the Floetrol. And I'll take you all the way over here to the right hand corner. Very pretty in here too. Very pretty. Just a lot going on in this painting, very busy. I like this really light green streak here too, coming down in purple. And I'll take you over here to the right. This is the lower right-hand corner. A Couple of more of those red cells did pop up. I like that light blue in there. And here we are at the top again on the right. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it if you think there's someone else out there that would like to see this. Again, this is old school, just a flip cup here. And just tipping it. Um, ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do uh, post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. Until next time. Take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.